Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Katrina and today I am going to break down Etsy shipping for you. So many of you have been asking me, please do a video on Etsy shipping. So of course I got you. So I am going to try my best to explain it, make it as simple as possible for you because I know when you're first starting out your Etsy shop, shipping is probably that number one topic that, you know, has people hesitant from opening their shop. It might seem a little tricky, but I promise you it is simple and easy so I'm gonna to try to explain it to you the best way the way that I do it that makes it work for me so I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to get started that will make your Etsy shipping process so much smoother but first I need from you to go ahead and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already don't forget to turn on your notification bell that way you do not miss any future videos because I have a lot planned and I can't wait I'm probably going to be putting my shop on vacation mode for a little while because I am moving and because I want to keep these videos rolling out. But today it's all things shipping, what you need to get started, how to make it easy, fast and simple and I'm going to help you out. So first you need a shipping scale and you want to have something nice, small, portable, does the job. This one is linked down below in my Amazon store and I have two because I'm probably going to get another one. I see another one that I like but this one is perfect, works like a charm. And of course, I recommend that you have a thermal printer. Of course, you can do it the old method with, you know, of course, printing out paper, cutting it, taping it to the box, but who got time for all that? We're trying to do things efficient and we're running a business, right? So you need a thermal printer. Never uses ink, it just keeps going just prints out so fast and easy I've showed it in a previous video but I'm about to change this one out this one is linked in my Amazon store but I'm changing this one out because I've upgraded and I have got my new mun bun mun bin I don't even know how to pronounce it I sound crazy uh, mun bin I'm, I'm, I believe it's mun bin but I have my new thermal printer and I can't wait to use it this is gonna be my next video my unboxing for this because this does way more than this one and I just can't wait to use it so I'm gonna be setting this up later on and I'm gonna be showing y'all all about this new printer but for today's video, we're just going to go on in the computer and I'm going to show you how you get started with shipping. So you need your printer, you need a shipping scale, of course you need your products, whatever you're shipping, and your packing supplies. But let's go on in and get started. So I'm in my Etsy shop, I'm on the back end, and I'm going to show you how you would input the information to start shipping. I'm under my listing section, these are all of my different listings that I have and listings can be complicated depending upon what you're selling if you're selling things with multiple sizes it gets a little bit more tricky so i'll show you different examples if you're doing shipping with all things all your products the same size or if you have a listing with various sizes that's when it gets a little bit tricky so i'll show you both examples so we'll start out a little simple and then i'll explain in more detail as we go so we'll start out with shirts Let's just do this one because this has adult shirts and it has kids shirts. So I'll click on this listing and I'm not going to go through inputting the photos. I'm not going to go through this, the descriptions or anything like that because I did talk about that in my previous Etsy video on how to start an Etsy shop. So if you need more information on inputting all this information, descriptions, everything, you can refer to my previous video and I'll have that link down below. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to scroll all the way down. Once you have all this information, information done once you set up all your variations you're going to come down and you're going to come to your shipping section this is where this video will start you can create shipping profiles as you see here i already have shipping profiles and i'll explain how you do that now with etsy you have two options on how to start your shipping you can have etsy calculate the shipping for you which is recommended in most cases, or you can enter in fixed prices manually yourself. So for the first example, we'll have Etsy calculate the shipping for us. So you would enter in your zip code right here, mine is 28269. Now you would have to enter in your processing time. It's always best to do the fastest processing time because then the customer is more likely to buy. So you would click on the menu to drop down section and these are where you have your options. One business day, one to two business days, one to three, three to five, five to seven, or you can actually do a custom range. You can put business days or if it takes something that you're making woodwork sometimes might take even longer weeks so you definitely come in here and you choose how long you want your shipping to take be realistic so that way the customer has an idea of how long it would take 
So for t-shirts, it definitely takes me one to two business days to ship out. If I'm doing a tumbler with epoxy, of course, that's going to take like five to seven days. So it depends on what you're doing with your item. So once you have that selected, now you're going to decide whether you're shipping worldwide or whether you're shipping just to the U.S. So some of my products I do ship worldwide. Some of them are only domestic. So this one is selected for worldwide. But if you only want to ship in the U.S., you would click on edit. You would uncheck all countries and you would only have North America check. So that way you're only shipping to the U.S. But when I tell you shipping worldwide is easy, it's easy. Etsy pretty much does everything for you, the labels, all that. So you have nothing to worry about. It's basically just like shipping to the U.S. They provide the extra shipping label. It goes to a facility to transfer into customs. It's literally so easy. But we're just going to keep it simple for domestic shipping. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to now select the shipping services. What shipping method classes are you providing? So you would click on edit and you will have all your options. U.S. Priority Mail, U.S. Priority Mail Express, USPS First Class, Priority Mail International, all these examples. And if you click on advanced shipping options, that's where you have the USPS Ground Select. I can't believe I didn't have that one selected. So I'm going to check USPS Ground Select. And now I'm going to uncheck international because I'm not shipping international. Again, we're going to keep it for domestic. I'm going to also uncheck USPS Priority Mail Express because that's really expensive and I'm not paying for it. And I know customers are going to want to pay for it. It's normally around 20 something dollars to ship like one day priority. So priority first class and ground is good enough for their options. So we're going to have that and now we're going to come down to free shipping. So this is the point where you decide whether or not you're going to include free shipping with your listings or if you're going to have the customer pay for shipping. So you decide or you can have the option where if they purchase anything in your shop that adds up to over $35, you can click the section where it will automatically give them free shipping. So you can hide all those costs in the shipping as well. So for this listing, I think I have it where they pay for the shipping because it's a lightweight shirt and first class shirts are only about maybe $3.50, $4 at most depending upon where they're going. So I did not click free shipping, but if you wanted to include free shipping, you would check this box right here and that's where you would just hide the cost. So example, if your shirt is $15 and you know the shipping is going to be about $4, then you would charge them $19 instead of $15. So that way they're still paying for the shipping, but they see free shipping in the shirt. Now, handling fee, I don't do a handling fee. That's if you want to charge like maybe 50 cents, a dollar, or whatever you want, you know, with you traveling gas to the post office. I don't do that because nine times out of 10, my postman picks it up and I'm just not trying to add on additional fees. Remember, you're trying to compete with other Etsy shops and you want to make the cost as low as possible. I would just hide that all in the price of the shirt. I don't have any additional prices. Once they see the price, that's the price that they get. That's the price that they are charged. Now, if you want to save this as a shipping profile, so say for instance, we're under a t-shirt listing, remember? So let's go back up. Let's show you what the listing looks like. We're doing t-shirts. These are family t-shirts. So if you wanted to save this, for example, if you're going to be creating similar listings with the same style of shirt with just different designs, they all weigh the same. This is when you would want to create a shipping profile right over here. So you would click save as a shipping profile enter a name and you can name it something as simple as family t-shirts so that way every time you create a new listing and you have the same style of shirts that weigh the exact same you would have the shipping profile and you would always just go to that shipping profile where you would not have to enter in the information every single time you have a new listing. I'm not going to save it because I already have a profile saved. So I won't click it, but this is where you would do that. Just click create profile and it would automatically be saved. Now the tariff number, that's where Etsy would give you the number if you're doing international shipping. So you wouldn't have to worry about that. Again, Etsy provides the number and you would input it in or sometimes they automatically input it in for you. That's only for international shipping. Okay, so coming on down to your item weight. 
So before you even get to this part, you should already know what your shirts weigh. You want to put them on the scale. You want to have all your components together that you're going to be actually packaging them in and sending them off, whether it's tissue paper, bubble wrap, your box, your poly mailer, and your actual item. You want to weigh them all on the scale together so that way you get the actual weight of the entire item. So I already have in my shop this shirt six ounces because even though it's family shirts even though i have onesies and t-shirts everything in here when you're selling things that have multiple sizes multiple weight you want to take the product that weighs the most and you want to use that so because i have family shirts more than one size kids sizes and adult i'm taking my heaviest shirt meaning that would be a 3x shirt for the men because that would weigh the most and i would weigh that and i would enter that in six ounces i don't ever want to come up short in the shipping because I don't want to have to pay for the shipping. So no matter what size shirt they choose out of this particular listing, because the largest shirt weighs around six ounces, that's what you would put in for the weight. You can always go back and adjust it later once you have created the item. But for the purposes of putting in the information, for the purposes of the shipping, you need to put in the heaviest item, which would be the 3XL shirt. So then I'll input the information for the size of the package. This is a poly mailer, a 12 by 10 by two shirts. I always put in a poly mailer, not a box. If it's a box, you would put, you know, whether it's an eight by eight by eight, whatever, whatever your package size dimensions are, this is where you would put it in right here. So it would show up free right here because that's what we checked. We checked free domestic shipping. Let me just go back up and double check and show you. We have it under free now if i uncheck free domestic shipping that's where you would see this is how much it would cost for first class so when you're doing free the weight right here really doesn't matter because you're giving them free shipping the only time it really matters is if you're not doing free shipping so then you would come down here you can preview it you can preview your listing right here and then you would come down and you can click publish so I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to keep it the same as I was. I was just showing you how you set up that listing. But now let's go a little bit further and I'm going to go back. Discard changes. So now before we go any further, I'm going to actually take you under the settings tab. So you would come right over here, click on settings. You want to go under shipping settings, click shipping settings. And this is where you would come and you have all your shipping settings you can go to shipping profiles you can go to free shipping guarantee so now this is what I was talking about you can you have the option to have the customers pay for the shipping you can have it where you do free shipping or you can do a free shipping guarantee where that they purchase multiple items and the items add over $35 that's where they will automatically get free shipping so let's click on that tab and let's show you how to do that you're making shoppers happy with free shipping way to go you can now easily bulk edit listings to adjust your item prices to recover shipping costs so because mine is already turned on you won't see it there's an option where you can turn it on what is a free shipping guarantee it's your guarantee to shoppers in the u.s that items priced $35 or over or orders from your shop totaling $35 or order will not have an added shipping cost when shipped within or to the US. Meaning if you're selling jewelry and if you have jewelry priced at $5, $10 or $15, if they purchase multiple items and once it adds up to $35, they automatically get free shipping. Or if they purchase one item and it's priced at $35 exactly or $40, they automatically get free shipping. So you can be really clever and you can actually price things at $30 and then you can have something else priced that maybe like $10 or you can have it priced at $20 and because they don't want to pay for shipping that'll make them go and buy something else so that way they can get free shipping in turn you're getting more money because they're spending more in your shop so as you see right here my shop already offers a free shipping guarantee so it's already turned on so that's under your settings and under your shipping options now let's go to the rates and upgrades now under rates and upgrades, your shipping rates, you wanna make sure that you have Etsy shipping label rates because if you have the post office retail rates, 
it's going to charge a lot more. So Etsy shipping label rates is where you get the discounts and it's a little bit lower and I'll show you that. You want to make sure that the shipping upgrades is enabled because I'll show you that in a second. Make sure that the buyer has the option when you have, when they are paying for the shipping or when you enter your rates manually that they have the option to upgrade to like priority or first class or whatever it is that you choose so that way they can pay for faster shipping services. So you want to make sure you have Etsy shipping label rates checked and you want to make sure that the shipping upgrades are enabled so now we're going to go under community and help community and help shipping help this is the section that you definitely want to pay attention to shipping help if you have no idea what to charge the customers if you're entering in your own manual fixed rates and I'll show you that right after this this is where you could come in and get an idea you would come under here, of course you have your packaging and measuring, you have your domestic shipping tabs, international tabs, additional services, and print shipper labels. This is if you need more information, you can click on any of these tabs, but for the purposes of this video, we are going to price your postage. This is the page that you need to go to so that way you can get an idea on what to charge if you are entering in the prices yourself. Otherwise, you can let Etsy handle all of this and you won't have to worry about it. So you have the option to enter in your own rates for shipping and you can do domestic and you can do international. Of course, we're just going to use my zip code, but you would change this and you would enter in your zip code because that's where you would be shipping out from. So we're just going to say we're shipping a package to New York and my old zip code was 11233. So I'm shipping a package to New York. So now first class packages are anything under a pound. So we're just going to do 12 ounces. 12 ounces in a five by five by five box. Let's calculate the prices and let's see what Etsy would charge and let's see what the post office would charge. So now because I'm using Etsy platform shipping rates, I would my customer would pay 442 or either I would pay 442 if I'm including free shipping. If I was taking this to the post office myself, if I, if I was not printing the label at home, they would have to pay 590 or I would have to pay 590 for first class. Of course, Parcel ground select is even higher, but if it's under a pound, we're not even looking at parcel ground select. But let's take the weight up. Now, if I put over a pound, let's take the package size up as well. Now we're using a six by six by six box. The package is a little bit heavier. Two pound package, six by six by six package um, box. And let's recalculate. Look at that. The rates jump up. Etsy's charging $7.95 for ground select. As you see, the first option is ground select. There's no more first class. Two to nine days, USPS, the post office charges $10.50 for the same package. Do you see where you get to save some coins by using the Etsy shipping label? You wanna ship at home. Now, if we're doing priority, then of course, it's not that big of a jump, but it adds up over time. $8.49 priority with Etsy and in 1070, so that's only a 20 cent difference with um, from ground to priority. Now, let's take it a little bit further. Just so you can see, you can put any zip code in here because if you're doing fixed rates manually, you need to actually pick a location that's on the opposite end of you. Now, technically, I would probably pick the furthest point away, which would be like Washington State. I don't have a zip code for Washington State on off the top of my head, but I'm just going to go with California, and I'm going to go with the number one zip code I know, 90210. Of course, who didn't watch that show? All right, so 90210, let's now go back to first class so you can see what it would be like if I'm shipping since I showed you my t-shirt, six ounces to, to California, and we're gonna do a poly mailer. The total weight, whether it's in a box or whether it's in a poly mailer, is what, um, what determines the price. So we're gonna click recalculate, and for a first class package going all the way to California from my zip code is 415. So you see, it's really cheap to ship. If I go even lower, if you're selling like pins or jewelry, it would be even cheaper. So let's just do three ounces. So, so shipping is not expensive for first class if you're doing lightweight items. Lightweight items, you can definitely hide the cost in your item or they can pay for it themselves. But now let's take that away and now let's do something heavy and we're gonna go with a three pound because some of us might be selling, you know, pictures or candles if they're buying multiple candles and it weighs a lot. Now let's see how much it would cost to send something heavy all the way to California. Recalculate 12 
25 right over here for Etsy for ground that's ground but you see the difference it jumps up priority is now 1774 Wow the post office forget about it we're not paying them rates so same thing it would be for ground with the UPS for priority when you can just use the Etsy shipping platform so Etsy makes it so easy for you to ship with them it's so super fast all you gotta do is just have everything that you need at home set it up in your Etsy shop and you get much cheaper rates so now let's jump back into the order so that way you can see exactly how this all works and how it's applied once you have an order fulfilled so now I'm back under orders and I have an order and I'm going to show you how I process this order so hiding the address and everything once you have an order fulfilled this is a hoodie order you want to click on the item once you have processed it it's ready it's packaged now you're going to click on this window pops up to the right of your screen you're going to click on get shipping label now you want to look at your screen delivery information for one order you want to make sure the first thing you want to do is make sure you have this green check where it says USPS verify. You want to make sure that is checked. That means the address has been confirmed because sometimes you will get a sad face and you will say this address is not known. The address is undeliverable or the address isn't recognized. You want to immediately send a message back to your customer and just let them know. All right. I just need to confirm the address. I'm getting a message that says the address is not known. Whatever the message it says I always copy and paste it to them and I make sure that they can verify the address some of them say it's correct it might be a new address it might not be on the map yet but in most cases it can be something as simple as a misspelled word or a missing number so you just want to make sure you touch bases with them before you go ahead and process the order and you want to make sure that the address is correct that's if you get a message over here in the section that says the address is not verified once it's verified now you want to come over here so now under this section where it says package thick envelope you have when you click on this drop down menu this is where you have all the different package options and normally mine stays on package thick envelope because I only ship out in packages boxes or poly mailers if you're sending out anything in flats or um, mail rolling tubes or anything else you can just click on anything else that applies to you but for the most part this is what I use so I keep it under that you can reweigh the item and you would enter it in right here so i know off the top of my head that this hoodie is 10.5 ounces and i'm going to be putting it in a 12 by 10 by 2 poly mailer and as you see here it automatically puts it in first class it's going to be 442 but if this was something that was heavier you can click this and you have the option you can see the choices that it gives you priority mail would be 790 ups ground would be 775 but do you see that one to two day priority express 2950 as i say i don't ever have that check but it always comes up every now and then you'll get a customer that needs something rush and they do not mind paying whether it's like for a birthday whether it's for a wedding a gift or something like that and they need it fast you have the option to come in here no matter what the preset says you can change it and they can pay but they will have to definitely pay you want to discuss that beforehand once you have your delivery service selected 442 now you're going to review your purchase review the purchase so now you're confirming your shipping label purchase one label postage at 442 now you can check this box right here and have um, Etsy send you all the notifications, but I do not. It's too much junk mail that comes directly to your email. I don't need that. I can check everything in the Etsy platform. So now you want to purchase your shipping label. I'm going to click purchase. And now I'm going to print my packing slip. And this is my packing slip that I'll put in every order. And now I'm going to print the shipping label. You want to make sure if you're using a different printer, I always have to switch mine because, of course, I'm using my thermal printer. So now I'm going to print that and that's going to come out my thermal printer. Once you print out your shipping label and your packing slip, you click done. And then you come up here and you click complete order. Once you complete the order, now Etsy will automatically, if you just click off, because you can just close this out and it'll send the tracking, but I always come here and I actually enter in my tracking number as well. So I'm gonna enter in my tracking number and the order is complete. 
So that's how you process a simple order. But I'm gonna now show you something that is a little bit more complex, has different weights, um, has multiple labels. So I'll show you how you would manage and how you would deal with something like that. So now I'm going to go under my completed orders and I'll show you an example of something. So this is a listing that I have for my water bottles. A customer purchased five total. So Etsy came in and automatically separated into two listings. You wanna know why? Because each one, when I created my listing, I had the bottle with the package to weigh five ounces. So Etsy wants to keep it in the first class section because I have it shipping out for first class, but that's for one order. So now they put three together and then they put two together. So you see the second label is for 10 ounces and the package cost is for $4.39. The first one is for 15 ounces. That's three bottles and then it's for $5.53. So you have the option to come in here and you can group them together. You can delete one label and you can ship them all together and weigh them. So if I deleted one label, now I'm just doing this for an example purposes because this was already shipped out. You can delete a label and then you can say, no, I wanna ship them all together and I will come take that away and now I would just group this and weigh it at two pounds. So I can ship it out USPS priority for 820 or I can ship it out US ground for 764. So do you see where the difference would be? depending upon if you want to ship them separately or if you want to ship them together. But Etsy is going to automatically, since the listing that I created for this was to ship out with one bottle for five ounces and for first class, Etsy tries to keep it in first class, but you can always come in here on the back end and change it. So it was up to my discretion if I wanted to keep the items separate in two packages and send them first class, or if I want to group them together and send them together and pay for one shipping label. Either way, they'll still get their package. So you can delete labels, you can add labels, and you can always come in here and adjust your weights and you can ship out the best shipping method for you. So I'm going to click cancel. That's how you would handle that. So now back under the shipping section. So since you have went into the page where you got ideas of what the postage would be depending upon the zip codes and you weighed all your items and you know exactly how much your items are going to weigh. Now you would come in here and you would decide, okay, well, you know what? I am going to ship out using my own fixed rates prices. Now I'm going to take you through the steps for that. I'm entering in my own fixed prices, my country, United States, Enter it in my zip code, same steps, select the processing time, one to three. So now I'm gonna choose my shipping carrier. I'm gonna choose USPS, and I'm now I'm gonna select my mail class. My mail class, I know this is a lightweight item, first class. I'm gonna select first class, and I have the option to choose free shipping or a fixed price. You can enter in those fixed prices, but the difference with this entering in your manual price let me say this, this is where it gets difficult and tricky. You literally have to pick the farthest place away because you never know where the customer lives. What if the person lives in Washington state? you have to account for the furthest destination away from where you live. And that's the price that you want to choose. So that's what everyone would pay. So that's how it kind of gets unfair. I do not like the fixed manual rates um, at all because everyone would have to pay the exact same thing. Or you can always adjust it on the back end. You would always have to adjust every label on the back end. So now let's just say you want to charge $4 for this um, going. So that's your flat rate that you would charge. It's not going to let you charge too much. But the only thing is you don't know exactly what to charge everyone. So $4 might be a little bit too less because we already saw that if I'm shipping this to LA that it was $4.15. So you never want to undercharge yourself. So that's why I always say let Etsy charge it for you. So we're going to go ahead with this or you can just always do free shipping. So I'm going to select free shipping to take away any of the issue and you would just hide the cost in your price. Now I'm going to delete this where it says everywhere else because we're only doing domestic. I'm going to delete this. If you were doing free shipping rate, if you were doing fixed shipping rates and you're entering the prices and you're shipping internationally, this is where you would put it. Now for most of mine where I do ship out internationally, my fixed rate 
I always have $25. That seems to always cover it. $25 additional for the shipping rate for international. I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video. And if they are part and if they are purchasing more than one item, that's when of course the weight goes up. So if they're purchasing more than one item, I normally depending upon what it is because of course if it's a shirt, it's lighter, if it's a mug, it's heavier. So it'll be anywhere from $5 to $10 per item then this is where etsy would charge them so if they purchase five additional items they would get charged five dollars for each item but i'm going to delete this for right now and now we're going to add a shipping upgrade this is how you can do a shipping upgrade but not technically an upgrade yet because if they purchase multiple items and it weighs over a pound we need to also compensate for things for free shipping for ground so i need to put economy once i click this drop down menu you have the option of express one day economy or custom i'm going to click economy and for my mail class i am going to now select go down i'm going to select ground because you have to have an option for free shipping for ground service now i'm going to enter zero dollars because it's free shipping now i want to give my customers the option to pay for shipping if they want a faster service if they have selected something that weighs more than a pound this doesn't apply for first class if they selected something that weighs more than a pound and they do not want to wait because ground select right here is two to nine days you want to select add um add an upgrade and now i'm going to select from the drop down menu express under your shipping carrier usps under your mail class now i'm going to select priority usps priority mail one to four days i'm going to select that and this is where you would enter in your fixed rates so you already saw the chart the page where it has the shipping and postage you already have an idea of what it's going to cost again you want to now select the place that's going to be the farthest place away the farthest place away but for about how much ever your item weighs so i'm just going to put in ten dollars but again you use that to your discretion some of mine has seven dollars some of mine is ten dollars again because i've already kind of compensated in my free shipping the price at already around three to four dollars for first class so again that's already compensated in the price as well so i don't want to charge too much for priority so you can figure anywhere between seven to ten dollars this is depending upon how much your item weighs you need to do the research to see how much your item weighs and get those figures and see how much it would cost to ship to certain various destinations and you would just take whether it's the average or you could take the highest to see because not everyone is always going to be buying from first this away and then not everyone is going to be buying things that's closest to you either so that's how you would enter in your fixed rates you can enter in fixed rates completely for everything or you could just do free shipping and then you can enter in fixed rates for your upgrade so that way they can pay for upgrades the only way they can pay for an upgrade is if you enter it in this way otherwise if you do if you select calculate for me you do not have the option to upgrade, which I think is kind of messed up. So it's different ways. Either way, whatever works best for your shop, that's how you come in here and you set up your shipping. And again, always save your shipping profiles if it's something that would apply to more than one listing. So I'm gonna click cancel because this is already a listing that was already set up, but I just wanted to show you here on the back end. That's how you would set up your Etsy shipping platform. There you have it. That's Etsy shipping in a nutshell. I hope I didn't confuse you. I wanted to make it as simple as possible. It's really simple. You either let Etsy calculate the shipping for you or you can enter in your fixed manual rates. In order for you to get those fixed manual rates and get an idea of what to charge, you definitely want to make sure that you go to that settings page under shippings and you can calculate the shipping based upon where you live to other zip codes. So remember, the first thing you need to do is make sure whatever items that you are selling and shipping, you want to make sure you have all those components together. Make sure you weigh them so that way you have the actual weight, 
You want to make sure that you're not charging too much to your customers for shipping and you want to make sure you're not cheating yourself as well. Make sure you're not eating the cost of the shipping. So you want to hide those shipping costs in your price if you're including free shipping. Otherwise, you just charge for shipping. Either way, however you do it, make sure you get those shipping rates right. Make sure you get those weights right. So you need a shipping scale, you need your printer, and of course, you need your items. Now you can go out there and start shipping your products with no problems. Now, if you have any further questions, make sure you put them down below in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer any further questions if you need more assistance. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.